So first of all, uh, let me explain about the market situation at, the, uh, at all. So uh, currently, uh, Russia as one of the BRICS countries, as you know, the BRICS it is Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and South Africa, is one of the most attractive markets for the future development. So while Europe um, uh, is in an economic crisis, at least they say it like that, so it is hard for us to say from Russia because we feel us quite good, ourselves quite good, in, because in Russia er everything is developing quite smoothly. And you know that our president and ex-president, which is now prime minister, and it's hard to say who is who anymore, and actually this is situation it is quite good, uh, because uh, Russia has become quite predictable for the huge country as ours with a previous, uh, how to say, image like a high-risk country to invest the money and so on, it is quite good because Russia is, you can now foresee what is going to happen next. And one of the main ideas of, of both of the, uh, our leaders, of the dominating parties, uh, are technical development of our country. So, um, if you can see the turnover for Russia is quite Im Im impressive with the international, uh, other international uh, companies, and you can see that UK, with the UK it is more than 10.2 billion US dollars. And uh, also Russia is mostly famous for the exporting the commodity, the oil, gas and natural minerals, and uh, mostly importing, uh, or importing uh, the products, the goods, equipment, etc. This actually leaves quite an excellent space for the international manufacturers and for you. Uh, so now in Russia there are three major changes which are going on. The first one which I would like to explain to you is I hope that um, that you are familiar with the GOST, the, the abbreviation for the state standard of Russia. So if you are uh, familiar with it soon you can forget about it because GOST are it is disappearing, it is dying breed, so because average age of Russian standard is more than 25 years and some of the standards are older than, than the 60 years and uh, there are dozen of, uh, I mean, dozen, uh, um, it is more than 10,000 of standards which are currently active in, in Russia and it is hard even for us, for the certification body which, which uh, participates in a local market, even, it is hard, hard even for us to follow up what is actual and what is not. So, and as you know, the good news for Russia is that, that Russia has been accepted to join World Trade Organization. And one of the requirements for this to happen was harmonizing the approaches for the safety of goods uh, which are in turnover in, the, in, in, in Russia and, and uh, later I'll explain even, even in the neighbor countries as well. So uh, Russia decided not to develop the GOST-R system, but uh, Russia has announced technical regulation system which is very similar to the European and you can see also the marking down there. The previous marking, it is called RST, Russian Standard Marking, and it was for a long period of time all of the goods which are imported into Russia has to, had to be marked by this mark. From first for approach, you can see that they, they look very similar, but actually they are not. This is a diff the difference also which should, should be marked on your product that uh, your products are now um, are complying to the new technical regulations. It is, uh, the new mark is called STR. 
Um, and at, at this moment, there are more than 30 technical regulations already approved for, for Russia, and it is still coming. So this is a, uh, the change which is now active. This is going on. So the next big change, which which is currently happening, it is the customs union. So this is something like welcome back to Soviet Union. So Russia has announced that uh, the, uh, in, we are collecting around us our neighbor country. The first few countries which has joined, it is Belarus and Kazakhstan. There is also Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Tajikistan and Ukraine, which are announced their willingness to join us. And uh, yes, we are now talking about even Russia. It is not a small country with a, with a, with a big internal market. We are now talking about something even bigger than that. Of course, there is a lot of politics in that as well involved. We are talking about Ukraine, which wants to join, but unfortunately, the, the gas pipe is going through the Ukraine, and they are the, until the Ukraine is going to pay for the gas which is goes through them, the, I, 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 I'm afraid that uh, Ukraine will not be accepted. But anyways, besides the jokes, currently Belarus and Kazakhstan, this territory is already common. This, this is what already works. So, and what, 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 what does it mean for the importers? It is that there is a technical regulation announced for those territories as well. So, the, if you remember, I just recently mentioned the Russian technical regulations, then the customs union technical regulations are considered, considered to be higher value, higher importance than the Russian one. So, let me explain how, uh, uh, sorry, no, I will skip uh, explaining the details in the next slide, but now this is a third big change which is going on. The Federal Agency of the Accreditation, which is called Ross Accreditation. So this means that Russia is cleaning the certification system. So until now, there existed more than 19 supervising authorities. Each of the ministries were supervising its own certification type. So if you are talking Ministry of Health, then they were supervising medical devices. If we are talking about Ministry of Emergency, Emergency Communication, then it is uh, for the fire safety. Rostechnazor for industrial safety, etc., etc. So they were quite complicated if your product fits into something like a zebra product, if it, is, it, it, if it has to comply to a dozen uh, or multiple of those agencies. So it means that you had to go through different certification uh, authorities. So now, this was also one of the preconditions to the World Trade Organization uh, that Russia has announced one single accreditation agency. It is, I think, very similar to the, how it works in Europe. Uh, in United Kingdom, it is United U UCAS, United Kingdom Accreditation Service. In Germany, for instance, it is DAX, and, uh, and, and so on. So Russia has announced that ROS accreditation is going to play this role. So um, at this moment, uh, there are some uh, dozen of the technical regulations of Russia which has came into force already. So first of them started to come into the force already, as you can see from this slide, since year 2006. But to say most sexy standards, most uh, interesting technical regulations, are actually updated quite recently, in the last few years. And to say frankly, even, even them soon will switch to the next ones, to the technical regulations of customs union. So in this slide I'm going to explain what is going to happen and how it really works, works in practice. So, you can see from the left side, top left corner, that this was the, the cost R system which existed for a long time. 
So the announcement of that new technical regulations are going to replace that was done already in year 2002, but to say frankly, nothing happened until the last few years. Only few exceptional technical regulations was accepted until the ex-president, Mr. Medvedev, explained uh, sorry, I just a minute. I'm seeing that uh, that some 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 of the questions are coming in, but I think that I will not interrupt myself until the end, until the end of this uh, in, in presentation, and then I will try to ex to answer all of the questions. So, um, returning back to the technical regulations of Russia. Then, uh, the, then, after the customs union technical, technical regulations are going to come into the force, and now there are something like 40 technical regulations which are in the stage of the development. Until then, every country is marking their products individually. So for Russia, you have to get national certification for Russia, for Belarus, Belarusian, and for Kazakhstan, the same. So uh, when the technical regulation of customs union will come into the force, and the, again, most interesting part of them uh, will come in starting from the 15th of February of next year, then it means that all of those certificates, all of those technical regulations, national technical regulations, are going to be seized and the only correct choice and only valid choice for you to import the goods is to certify the goods according to the technical regulations of customs union. And here you can see as well in the, on the bottom right corner how will look the marking for those territories. So, uh, as you can see from this slide, that few of technical regulations of customs union have been already accepted. And uh, already in this summer, the safety of toys, the safety of uh, cosmetics has been already accepted. And in the next year, in the February 15, they will come into the force the uh, technical regulations for the electromagnetic compatibility, low voltage equipment and machinery equipment, which makes one of the um, biggest interest for the exporters to Russia, because Russia is importing a lot of su such goods. Here you can also see that, that all of the countries, I mean, the Russia, Belarus, and Kazakhstan, all of them are participating in development of the new technical regulations. So currently there are more than 47 technical regulations in development right now. Russia, of course, is mo developing most of them, but also Kazakhstan and Belarus are actively participating in going forward. So wh what covers those technical regulations? when you should be interested in that. So actually, it quite good fits into the scope of the, of the services which Tufzud, our company, are providing. Actually, it will involves any field of activity, the soft lines, hard lines, toys, uh, electrical equipment, and uh, food and health equipment. I'm uh, not going to go more details in this one uh, right now, in this slide, but I will be ready to answer all of your questions uh, furthermore. So if you are looking on the, the system of geography of the um, compliance for the Russian standards, uh, uh, it looks like that. So most, most of the products, fit into the cost R system. Of course, it is the most famous one. So it is a cost R, which, as I said, are now step by step switching to the technical regulations of Russia, first of all, which actually is going to be like a temporary thing, because sooner or later, all of them are going to become technical regulations of customs union. 
So for you to understand that it is more than 10,000 10,000 standards of the ghost R and they are planning to be less than 200 technical regulations, something like 126, I think, are announced at this moment. So, and until this day, depending on additional risk involved for your product certification, there also ex are existing uh, the fire safety, explosion proof, hygienic, metrology, med medical devices, and telecom approvals in Russia. So for all of those equipment, all of those products, which you, when you are bringing into the Russia, you have also not only technically translate the manuals, the test reports, the, the, the information how to mount and, and how, to, how, how to operate it, but you also have to harmonize this technical equipment to the national standards. Uh, also, if your equipment, if your products are used in a high risk object, like it is uh, considered uh, to be hazardous facility, then they are supervised by Rostechnadzor. Rostechnadzor, it is a state institute for the nuclear, ecological, and technical supervision. So, uh, and this is a national industrial safety expertise. And it is going on in a three dimensions, let's say like that. So, first of all, if you plan, for instance, if your projects are big and you are planning to open your own man manufacturing in, in Russia, first of all, you got to get acceptance for the project. If you are just importing equipment, uh, then then it means that you have to come that you uh, to prove that your equipment, your products are complying with industrial safety rules and regulations. And uh, again, if it, if it is uh, that something which has not been working in Russia yet, before you push the button and launch your water treatment plant or or, or hoisting machine or pressure requester and so on. So it means that you have to get a, uh, also the license for that. You get to, to 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 comply for industrial safety for the facility. So all of those services are in a Tuvzut portfolio. Here you can see the correct names of those products because if we are just mentioning it as a for instance, medical devices, of course, the correct name for, for this would be state registration of medical devices, and etc. So, uh, again, I will be glad to go into the details later when we are going, going uh, in, into your exact products which you are planning to import. So, here you can see the, even the visual images of those services. As I said, the costs are, are covering the most of the mandatory, the, they, are, they are also the mandatory, voluntary uh, types of certification. They are also declaration of those goods. And for you in the future to understand your, uh, for which of the categories your product complies to, Later on, we will need from you to receive the fulfilled application of the customs code, the HS code, which uh, how you are bringing your goods in. What is in, uh, for Europe? It is called modular system. It is uh, on the basis of the one single contract, single shipment, or it is a uh, serial production you want to certify. So there are also the same rules in Russia. And like, as I said, we will go into details later if you want to. Uh, if you are talking about the registration of medical devices, which is currently done by Ministry of Healthcare and the commu communication devices, so they are, they, I will be glad later to, to uh, introduce you to Mr. Sergei Rubanov, who is our, our manager for national certification. He will go into the details for that. Uh, I'm currently skipping some of the slides because I think that I'm already going into the territory of Sergei, so, so um, excuse myself for that. I will finish it with, uh, with uh, my, my speech with the links. If you have any questions regarding which I have already announced, 
So you can see the most of it in the in the web pages. You can see them here. Unfortunately, they most of them are only in Russian language. But don't hesitate to to ask uh, Mr. Robert Greenwood to be assisting you to 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 redirect those questions to us, and we will be glad to to uh, to answer them.